Hey everyone, it's Benny. Today I'm going to show you my personal method for the Cayo Perico heist. I'm going to show a recording of a heist I did, and step by step I'm going to go over what you can do to replicate this. Now, you can change things up how you want, adjust this to your own playstyle, but this is my personal approach that I use every time, and it works every time. I might have to restart sometimes, I might get caught, but the method stays the same. And this basically guarantees I am completely capable of completing the heist and filling my loot bag completely. Now, introduction out of the way, let's go ahead and get this started. Now, for this specific uh, playthrough of the heist, I was just using the boat because I wanted to try to get the trade price. But, unless you're doing this, I recommend going in with a submarine as it will allow you to use the scuba suit. And with the scuba suit, you can go underneath the tunnel and go into the grate. If you don't know where the tunnel is, there's this little mesh uh, grate that you can actually go through directly underneath the compound. You'll see where it is in just a minute. But this, but the reason I say the submarine is because this makes it so that you don't have to equip rebreathers like I did on this approach. But it's it's so simple. It's so simple it's not even funny. And if you haven't scouted this out yet then I highly recommend you do so. Now this does mean you will have to do an extra prep. You'll have to do the prep for the um, for the torch. Now the, the prep mission for the torch is easy. I'll probably cover that in a future video. But as you can see it's the same mini game from story mode from the humane labs and you just go through go like I'm doing it. Take your time. Pace yourself I'd actually recommend pushing the stick as little as you can so that whenever you go through the bars it's just you know you're just like slowly going through it and you don't have to go back and do it again it's that easy and as you can see push it open go through the tunnels and when you come out of the top you'll be on this little balcony area you'll see in a few minutes and at that point what you're going to want to do is make your way to the office. As you can see pushing upwards in the grate and there I am. Now I can already guess a lot of people struggle with stealth in this game but stealth is actually easier than a lot of people let on. Now what I like to do is first thing I'll try to find a key you won't always find a key. It's random. Whatever guards you find the keys on, it's random. So you might find one, you might not. But it's always good to kill a few enemies along the way. Try to find it. This guy wasn't carrying it, unfortunately. But it's no big deal. If you don't find a set of keys, you can still get into the office. So let me show you the route I like to take. Let me zoom on the map. What I like to do is go around south and then up and the reason I take that route specifically is because there's less guards and it, it may not be a direct path but it's way easier you'll save yourself so much stress and as you can see I just ran past that camera it's the same as a casino heist if, if you're not under there for too long then it'll act like it didn't see you and when you take out two sets of enemies in one when you take out two enemies in one place the trick is to be quick. You headshot one, then just body shot the other till they're dead. That's that's a working strategy for taking out the sets of two. There's a guard coming this way. Kill him so he doesn't see me. Now because I'm playing solo, I'm not going to need that card. I really just ran over him to see if I could pick up the right ammo. Now there's this little hedge area here you're gonna want to jump over that so you can avoid that guarding camera now again I'm having to take an indirect path but the reason I'm doing it like this is so that I don't have to fight as many guards and again I'm sorry for a squeaky chair a guard will walk around here and once he turns around this is your perfect opportunity to kill him alright now this is where we're getting really close to the office now you won't always have to kill the juggernaut but I will say this if you do the um, if you do the sabotage prep and 
get rid of all of their armor, that juggernaut will be completely unprotected. His armor will be useless. So it's good to just go ahead and kill him. Don't be terrified of the juggernaut if you did the armor sabotage because that way, that way he'll be completely unarmored. There will always be this guard here. I like to just melee him, but you can just shoot him, it won't matter. Now there's also going to be a guard at the top of the stairs. And something I've noticed is he seems to start walking this way the moment you get to a certain point in the stairwell. He comes up here, headshot him, and now you're completely free to go into the office. Now something worth mentioning, I think, is that you don't have to pick the same loadout I did. As far as I'm aware, any loadout is fine except for the Mark II weapons loadouts. Personally, I don't trust those. I haven't tried them yet, but because they're Mark II ammo types, that from what it looks like at least, I, I just don't trust it. I always like to have plenty of ammo just in case I have to go aggressive, but anyway, still, you don't have to go with the same loadout I did. Just about any loadout's fine. I just like to have a sniper, but anyway, these hacks. A lot of people struggle with this hack, and I even told my friend about this. This is probably one of the easiest hacking main games I've ever seen. All of the um, pieces, as you can see here, are already in order in the lists. All you have to do is go one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, so on. And they'll line themselves up. They appear in order as you scroll through them. So all you have to do is like, Go one, one, two, one, two, three, four, and so on. It's so easy, it's ridiculous. I I didn't even expect it to be as easy. I thought it was gonna be really freaking difficult, but uh, no. And you might struggle a little bit, but the trick is just remembering which ones you've gone through and just placing them in order. Like again, as you're scrolling, they'll appear in order, and. And it'll eventually sort of check itself so you don't have to do anything. And whether you have to do three or four doesn't matter. I, I don't even know why there's a time limit. It's so quick to do. But anyway, go to this elevator. Now, another reason I said to get the the torch is because it will actually help you go through these locks. It makes it so you don't have to get the keys or the bolt cutters. We'll get into the bolt cutters thing later. Now let's move on to the, um, I, I forget what this is called, the thermal something. But basically this is pretty much like the laser drills. The trick is to go high and just try to keep it steady. Now, I understand that with the thermal drills or the laser drills for the casino, there's that uh, spam trick where you just go full force, let it cool, and then full force. I don't know if that works with this yet, I haven't tested it, but you can take your time with this and it's fine. I mean, there's no guards around, you don't have to worry about getting caught. So now we head back upstairs, and the way out is actually pretty easy. It's actually easier than going in. Now if you follow my method, right here, it's pretty much just a straight shot to the front door. And yes, I'm taking the front door. Um, you'll see here in a minute. So you want to go down the stairs and around into the courtyard. Just follow the route I take. Once you're at the bottom of the stairs, you're going to want to make a turn here. Just straight forward, well, almost. You could jump that wall. I didn't feel like doing that this run around. I was kind of lazy. Now there's going to be two guards here that you have to kill, but... I like to kill some of the others just because I get bored. This one over in the distance, he's out of everyone's sight, kill him. This guy here, just to piss off El Rubio, I decided to smash up his precious car. This part you don't have to do. I also went up to this area and killed him. You don't have to do that. That's just me just giving the middle finger to this guy is all. But now we get to the... Um, now we get to the final stage, exiting the island. Now how I see it, there's two ways that you could do this. You Now keep in mind, I, I do like to grab secondary targets just so I get a little bit extra you know, from this. But we'll get to that 
right after this. First, I'm going to explain the exit route getting to wherever it is I'm going. So, there will always be this guy here. You can even take one of these uh, bikes if you want to. I think the bikes are the best way to get around, personally. They're way more nimble. Now, there's also another guard and a set of two guards. I like to take out the guy who's by himself first, as you can see here. Now, getting around the uh, bushes can be tricky, but it's not hard. And same as before, catch out one, just riddle the other. As long as you kill them in quick sequence, it doesn't matter because that way the alarm doesn't get pulled. It helps to take out that camera and there will be a bike here. Now we get to what's arguably the harder part. Now you're going to want to make your way, it, it helps to go off-roading with this. This is why I always go with the bikes because a jeep will get stuck on the trees, you know, the um, the Hummer looking thing will get, it, it'll get stuck on the hills. It, it's just, it's good to use the bikes. Now, you will crash a lot with the bikes, and if you get stuck, whatever vehicle you use, just go on foot. This island is, it, it's massive, but it's still small enough to where you can efficiently get around on foot. I'm going to speed this up to save time, and you see here, I finally get to the docks. Now, you can grab what's here on the docks, but I recommend waiting until you get to the airfield, which brings me to the next part. There is a stash of, uh, I think it's usually weed. I don't know if it randomizes. I'm pretty sure it does. It's usually weed, though, at least in most of the attempts I've made. There will be a guard here. Take him out. And there will be a camera there. You don't have to take it out. I usually take it out just to be sure. But as you can see there, there was a weed stash. Although I'm more interested personally in what's in the uh, hangar. If you remember, there's a hangar over on the airfield. And there's like four different secondary targets there. That's why I usually wait till I get there. Now, I get there by boat. But before I do that, there's sets of guards here. You already know the drill. So there's one guard on the pier closer to me, then there's two guards together over on the other one. I usually use my sniper for this, but you can use your pistol or whatever gun you're using, whatever you're more comfortable using. You don't have to take out those two guards on the other pier though, because watch this. As long as you are careful, you can actually maneuver the boat past them. I swear. Sometimes I don't know if the Perico guards are dumber or the Diamond Casino guards. But anyway. Now, most people would make their escape right about now. They have the perfect chance. And yeah, if you want to, you can escape at this point. If you're not yet comfortable like with the way the heist works. But I like to go to the hangar just because I got, I got plenty more room in my bag. So I'm going to take more. And... There are more spawn points for loot in the hangar. It is very likely you're going to find something there. And not just that, but because there's four spawn locations for the loot, you have a chance of getting something good. And in this case, I was able to get cocaine. So I get out of the boat, and I just make my way to the hangar. You are going to have to do a bit of stealth for this, but it's nothing bad. There's this guard here. I can just take them out, take both of them out, same method as before, headshot one, then riddle the other. You know, quick succession, that's all trick to that. Guard here, take them out, and here we go. Now, a lot of people actually don't know about this. I found, about, I found out about this today, but every time there's a forklift here, and you're going to want to lift up a crate like this. Pick it up carefully make your way under this blue tarp. I actually learned about this from the professional. So just climb up and over and boom you have, you'll have two secondary targets here usually. If they don't spawn there's another set underneath this. You'll know it when you see it. 
And again, the 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 friggin' blowtorch. I swear, it's way more useful than the bolt cutters because you can guarantee that you have it with a prep. You can't really do that with the bolt cutters for some reason. As you can see, grab that and just make your way out. And from here, it is really easy. And this is a this is probably this this is another big reason that I suggested using the sub because. If you choose the submarine as your escape as your escape plan, then it will be on the north side of the island, which is right by the hangar. It's super convenient. And if this boat manages to float away and you, you don't feel like going after it, you can just steal an NPC boat. And just like that, I am on my way out. And that's about it. That's That's basically... That is my method for this heist. Now, I'm sure people have already found better. Bleh, sorry, I'm sure people have already found better methods, but this is what I like to do, and it is challenging, but it is a lot of fun. I absolutely love this new heist, and I'm sure people will be finding methods for this for probably months to come, maybe even years. But that's it for now. I hope you found this helpful, and. Tell me down below what are your methods that you use and also let me know if there are any tips that that you would give new players. I'm trying to try to find ways to make this easy for new players. But that's it for now. Um, leave a like if you want to support my channel and subscribe if you want to see more regular content. That's it for now. I'm out. Stay safe guys.